What's happening guys, JR Rimmon back again coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes in Waterford, Michigan, where today we've got this violent collision. Beautiful ball, I love the purple in it, I love the blue, uh, kind of pink, you know, a little bit of mixture with silver in there. Very good looking ball, definitely a lot of shelf appeal. It's got the 45 by 5 by 45 layout on it, and again we're taking it out on two different patterns. Two. Uh, 142 foot lead condition on the left lane, 42 foot sport condition on the right lane. And we're going to take it out there. We're going to test it on both uh, on both patterns, see what they got. Um, but make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for me, uh, comment below what you think of this ball. Make sure to get one over at the link in the description at bowlerx.com. Uh, and we're going to take these out there and see what she's got here in a minute. So stay tuned. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling. All right, here we go. Let's take this violent collision out here and see how violent she really is. <sighs> By the name, I would imagine it's probably going to be like the Theorem as far as quickness goes. So it's probably not going to be smooth like the Zigzag or the Verge Hybrid was. But the only way to find out is to throw the shots. So let's see if it gets there. Definitely missed a little left but it still picked up a lot, like a lot, a lot. Really got going. Color scheme's throwing me off. It looks like it's swirly, and then when I throw it, it's just more like solid. Move five left. Yeah, definitely quick down lane. It's earlier than the Theorem, but just as quick down lane as the Theorem, which means it might be great on 40. It might be great on the sport pattern. Need to reset. Ugh. All right, five more left. reading the middle of the lane so much stronger than I'm expecting. It's not floating down there like the Theorem and the other balls do. It's one's trying to pick up and it's like, it looks like it's kicking another gear. It's getting into gear and then it just says, ow. Then it gets going. Let's keep going left. Maybe it'll be really good further left. I mean, it looks good, but it's just not quite getting there. Now that one, it read the middle too much, which slowed it down down lane. So it never read, it didn't, it didn't get into its roll phase properly. It was too far down lane as far as its roll phase. So even though it read the middle, it just made it delay its motion to where it would finish down lane. So it needs to be a little bit earlier to get it to go through the pins properly. All right. One more move here. This thing, this, this, I don't know what it is. That looks okay, but something about it, it just doesn't catch my eye. It's almost like it's trying to read too quick. I feel like ball would cause me problems on anything with more volume or anything with less volume. Less volume would make it hook too quick and <laughs> be too strong overall. More volume would make it get too far down lane. This ball might be one of them that looks really good with a little bit more surface on it.
Yeah, see, that's like you can see it pick up and then try to make it second motion, and it just doesn't get there. Let's take it over on the sport pattern. Maybe it'll look really good on the sport condition. We're going to find out. All right, so now we got it over here on the 42 foot sport condition. We're going to see see exactly what we got. Same thing, starting straighter and hoping for the best. Now with this thing reading early like it was over there, it might be really good over here. Who knows? We'll find out. Phone's ringing. That looked pretty good there. Definitely smoothed it out. Website guy, Max. Sorry, Max. I'm in the middle of a review. Can't take your call. Please leave me a message and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thanks. All right. Moving five more. Oh, and he's going to try to call again. That's all right. We're going to wait. Five more left. See what it does here. Definitely a big difference between this and the zigzag and the verge hybrid. Because it's it's uh it's reading quicker, which is gonna force me further left. But that doesn't mean that's a good thing necessarily. So five more left. This should be the area where it looks better. It's right in this zone. ball just makes me feel like it doesn't want to go right. This gives me, you know, you ever have a bowling ball where you're like, man, I feel like I'm throwing it bad every shot. But then when you go back and you look at video, no, it's just hooking early. So you feel like you're missing left a lot. It's kind of what this ball's giving me as far as the vibe goes. It's giving me that vibe where it's making me feel like I'm throwing it bad. But maybe it's hooking early. I don't know. Five more left. Start to get around it a little. All right, so there it looked good. That looked really good. That was exactly what you want. A hook, it sets up and rolls right through the pins like that. That's what we're after. So that's good. So that we know we're lined up there. Assuming you can repeat shots there, but we're going to go five more left and just see how it does further left. Yeah, so this is going to be that ball you go to on the longer patterns, the 42 foot plus patterns that are flatter and you need to go left and open your angle up. This is the one. So we found where this ball's good. Now I'm gonna move a few more left. This ball likes further left, bigger angles, flatter condition. Yeah, and it's stopping exactly how it's supposed to. So this would be the ball I would go to later in the day. A little bit later, once I can get further left over here, It'll be even better once you get a little bit, uh, a little bit of, you know, a, a, a big hook spot developed to the right, where you can kind of, when you miss right, it's still gonna pick up. Right now, you can't really do that. So, like, watch. I'll, I'll move my eyes to the right, and you'll watch it hang to the right. Being on the sport pattern, a lot more oil to the right, so it doesn't pick up when you miss right. I mean, it did though. That one definitely picked up, but yeah, you can see it hang a little bit too much there. So, I mean, that's good. We'll end it there. You can definitely see where this ball is gonna be a whole lot better as you move left, as you migrate left, especially on something tougher. It might look better way left on a house condition as well. I'm not sure. It just gave me that vibe like, man, I'm, it just keeps hooking too early for me. So if you're looking for a ball that's got a little bit shinier cover on it. That's gonna start reading a little bit quicker than what you would normally see a shiny ball could read. 
this is the ball for you, this violent collision. So make sure to hit the link in the description and get yours over at BowlerX.com or come up here, BowlerX Pro Shop and Training Center. I'll hook you up. We'll find your PAP. And we'll get it laid out for you. And keep in mind, this was even a five inch pen. So the fact that it's reading like that with five inch pen, that's pretty good that it's gonna read that much. So it's gonna read that much stronger when you put a stronger layout on it. So keep that in mind. But that's all I got for you today. I'm gonna get out of here. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care. They say bowling is a dying sport. A dying sport. <laughs> I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree. BowlerX.com for the love of bowling.